Welcome. This is the first part of hopefully a long series in which we will be looking at the basics and maybe even advanced aspects of modding Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, this is the first episode and we will be looking at what you need in order to mod Hearts of Iron as well as how to create a mod. So before we create the mod, let's look at what we will need. Of course, you're going to need the game Hearts of Iron 4. You can find on Steam. Uh, you will need some sort of uh, image editor, such as GIMP, which is what I recommend. Anything that can export either TGA or DDS file. Uh, I recommend personally TGA, although DDS is what uh, the game files use. Um, you will also need some a text editor, such as Sublime Text or if you are using a Windows computer such as myself, uh, you can always just use Notepad, uh, just any sort of text editor. You also may want file converters in case you don't have something that could export DDS files, although I do not personally use them. So when I, in these tutorials, I will not be showing how to use those. That is all you should really need. Uh, any other things that you might want but aren't really necessary. Uh, I myself use Microsoft Paint uh, and Paint 3D uh, instead of GIMP. Usually GIMP I mostly just use to uh, export the files into TGA and uh, DDS. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to show you how to create a mod. So you're going to open up Hearts of Iron 4. There we go. Once it loads up, you're going to click on Mods and Mod Tools. Now this is where you create and upload your mods. So I'm just going to call this Tutorial Mod version, whatever the latest version is. So for this, at least 1.8.1. Mod. Now, right here in the directory, you will name the, fo the folder that will contain all of your mod. So I'm just going to call mine tutorial. I'll show you where that goes. And there is a separate mod folder, and I'll show you where to find that. Now, down here you have tags. So tags are for once you do upload your mod. When somebody searches to narrow down what kind of mod they're looking for, if your mod's going to be alternate history, or... Maybe you're just updating historical aspects of the base game. So, mine, we're going to have, hopefully, show you how to do national focuses, how to edit the map, events, uh, perhaps ideologies. And yeah, you could, you could do pretty much as many of these as you want, but for now, and you could always change these later. So don't think that you have to know everything right off the bat. All right. So you can create your mod. It's going to say your mod has been created. And, and if you were to look into manage mods, scroll all the way down, you will see right there, there's tutorial mod. I'm going to quickly enable that. And uh, turn off my other mods. All right. And that's all you need from in here. Now I'm going to show you where do you find it. So you're going to go into File Explorer, Documents, Paradox Interactive, Hearts of Iron 4. You're going to see a folder called Mod. And in here, you have all of your mod folders. Now, I have a lot, but you're just going to look for the one that you titled my, Mine's Tutorial, but whatever you call your mod. This is where everything that your mod is going to have, this is where it's all going to be stored. Now, right now, all it will have is a descriptor. Now, if you were to open this up with a notepad, you will see we have the version of the mod, the national focuses, and even the name. So this that's what I was talking about when I said you could change that whenever you want. All of it is right here. So that is how you create a mod. Next episode, I will be showing you how to start off with actually making the mod.
uh, basics and we will begin making a country, give it events and national focus. Thank you for watching.